part two DIY potting soil challenge two weeks in. Hi everyone my name is Riley welcome to my garden and today we're going to look at where we are with our zucchini our eggplant and our peppers after two weeks into our DIY potting soil challenge. We started with yellow fin zucchini this is a zucchini hybrid from Johnny's Seeds and what we're looking at here is the DIY potting soil mix. Beside me, we'll get to a minute, is the organic potting soil mix from Home Depot. And for the zucchini, I've got to give the edge to the DIY potting soil mix. It is just a little bit fuller. There seems to be more growth and healthier growth. Um, the, the whitening color on these leaves is a characteristic of this hybrid um, so we don't need to be worried of too much right now about powdery mildew this isn't this doesn't wipe off it's just the, the color of the of the leaves patterning of the leaves so score one for DIY potting soil when we're looking at zucchini that is not the case with the other vegetables we're growing though so let's have a look at that our Asian eggplants look great. Both of these plants look fantastic. But if I had to give the edge two weeks in, I'm going to give it to the DIY potting soil. Whether it will hold that edge or not, I'm not sure. There is no insect damage on really either of these, these eggplants. They both have started to flower. They both look fantastic. A slight edge to the organic potting soil, but we have to see that uh, the DIY potting soil may catch up. I really want to wait and see that until this sets fruit, how it really looks. But while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and trim off these lower leaves on my eggplant. Um, some of these are laying down into the, into the mulch and I want to prevent those leaves from becoming wet and being in contact with that mulch. Our lunchbox peppers advantage is definitely to the organic potting soil but none of these plants look good and I want to talk about exactly what I found I selected some self-watering containers for the peppers and when I put them in the root ball was already very very large the bottom of these self-watering containers there is nowhere for the excess water to go so if there's just a little bit of excess water you know that's great it's not going to be soaking these roots in water but if you have too much water there's just nowhere for the excess water to go and I think I have been drowning my roots which is why none of these look particularly good um, they they really every single one of these is struggling whether it be the the potting soil mix or the DIY mix however the potting soil mix is definitely struggling less so what I've changed is I've taken the little self watering trays off of the bottom of these and I put a normal uh, container tray on the bottom so that when I water them I can see that water is running out hopefully we're going to get better airflow through both of these types of soils and we can recover these these peppers but right now none of them look particularly good now I am pulling off any any flowers right now I want these to get a little bit bigger and healthier before they they start to set fruit right now these just need to recover from having too much moisture we're gonna see how they do that's the summary for week two of our DIY potting soil challenge with our yellow fin zucchini, slight advantage to our DIY potting soil. With our Asian eggplant, a slight advantage to the organic potting soil that was store bought. And our peppers, none of them look good. Most likely, totally my fault. Be sure to uh, subscribe and ring that bell so you'll be notified the next time we put out another update on our DIY challenge. And that will be in two weeks.